Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, Gemini, let's get into this thing, see what's going on with your person. Uh, this is whoever you are thinking about, okay? Keep in mind that this is a general message for Gemini, so it's not a person who may not resonate with everyone. Take what fits and leave the rest. If you're interested in learning more about your situation, you want to book with me, go to my website, in the notero 1122com okay? All right, let's see. You'll find a link in the description box or the uh, square icon on the banner of the YouTube channel, okay? All right, so Gemini, it looks like you want a fresh start here. You got a lot of options, a lot of decisions, choices to make. Looks like you're focusing on you, self-love, self-care. I like it. What brings you peace and happiness? Let's see. Good morning for Gemini. And this person, oh Lord, Gemini, I started this reading again because the same thing came out and I wasn't sure if it was me, the way that I was reading the cards, but baby, let me tell you something, you have somebody here that is spying on you, they're watching you move on with your life, um, I did see that there was a third party here, so you're possibly in a new relationship. You got somebody here that is spying on you, and they are infatuated with you, okay? This person, um, I don't know what happened. Maybe after the breakup, this person really realizes how much they care for you. And now, it's coming up again. Somebody wants to redeem themselves here. You may feel like you were settling for less than this person, or if you broke up with someone here... Someone here may have moved on to someone else and they feel like they're settling for less than they deserve. All right. They're watching you move on and they are jealous. Someone here thinks about the times that you guys spent together. Those times. All right. And whatever it is between you two, it is just really complicated. You two can't seem to get on the same page, the same book, even in the same category. Okay. This person may be trying to uh, contact you through your dreams and things like that, okay? Looks like this is somebody that you did walk away from. Yeah, you kind of cool on this person. <laughs> Took a break and you may have felt that your life has gotten so much better, okay? I'm just saying, this person actually may have walked away from someone too. And while on break, they're looking at you, checking to see what you're doing. Um, you may not be speaking to this person because there's some type of conflict here. Oh, Lord. Gemini, I kind of figure that some of you may were, may were, were settling for this person here, sweetheart. Um, you may have released this person and whatever it is, like I said, this person wants to come back. Uh, they are definitely triggered by what they're seeing, what they're noticing here. This person wants you to come back and compromise. Okay, come back home, Gemini. Let's make it work. Gemini, did you make it work before you left? Did you try? Somebody has a lot of affection for you still, and they want to move closer to you. All right, and, you know, they want you, they want you back, baby. They want you back. All right. All right, all right, all right. It's funny when people mistreat you the first time they have you. Come on now. And then they want you to go back to the same BS. Let's see. Give me one for a fresh start. Okay, studying. Somebody is watching you. I'm telling you. Taking notes. Hey, I'm just saying. Someone here, it looks like they have learned some lessons here. But like I said, somebody is paying particular attention to you. They are watching, watching, watching. Waiting, lurking, okay? This person wants to reach out. They are obsessed. Somebody's obsessed with you, Gemini. Ooh. I heard there's disturbances here, and usually this is like drama, but I heard obsessed and somebody's disturbed, like mentally. So you might want to be careful with this. Clarify jealousy. All right. Oh, Lord. You are being protected here, too. You're being protected here by your loved ones, your spirit guides here. Let's see. It looks like your ancestors, your guides, your guardians are watching this person. There's something going on with this person. There's stability issues, okay? Here it says finances, but I'm getting mental, okay? 
Look, there's a mental, there's emotional, mental, and physical abuse in this situation, okay? And I'm telling you, someone is lurking, lurking. This person is tired of waiting for you to uh, reach out, too. They want you to be the first person to reach out. They don't want to, uh, they don't want to be the one that feels like they gave in, threw up the red flag. Okay, come on, it's, you know, I, I'm waiting for you to miss me. Gemini, you living your best life. This person, I'm telling you, they are researching you. And for whatever reason, your person's got an ego problem too with this settling here as well. They might be looking at who, you, who you're who you with and, you know, giving a snake face. Mm -hmm. That's who they with? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. But check this out. This person here that you were settling for, because I'm going to throw it back on them because this person's pretty petty, jealous, a lot of things that's going on here, okay? Abusive. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? So you were settling for someone that you didn't deserve. This person has bad influences here, hangs around the wrong people, unhealthy relationships, engaging in unhealthy habits. So I see why you left the building, okay? This person is going to try to reconcile with you. Clarify, relax, please, and thank you for Gemini. Yep, this person wants to go out. All right, look, you're just chilling, vibing, doing your thing, and you're going to have an invitation here. Somebody's going to re, uh, ooh, somebody's going to reach out to you. All right, I think there's going to be a conversation here, and I think this is going to end. Conclusions are within reach. Someone here may be facing their karma here, and also there's a divorce. So you don't have to be married to this person, but it could just be like, you know what, Finito, this is it. I'm done. Done, done. All right. Clarify redemption. Oh, Lord. Okay. So this person is going to tell you they probably are. They haven't been with anybody else sexually um, since you two have been gone. Maybe this is voluntarily or involuntarily. I don't know. But someone here, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in with a proposal. All right, let's take this to the next level. You need to protect yourself against this person, okay? There's that. And then there's somebody else in this situation. This person could have friends, family, could be dealing with somebody else, but there's a third party here, too, on, on this person's end. So this person might be getting bad advice from friends, family, or whatever. I don't know. Could They could be dealing with someone else that they're settling for. I don't know. And then they're looking at you, Um what you got going on, missing you, this person doesn't treat them like you did. I don't know. Somebody's settling for less than they deserve. It's coming up here for your person, but I'm kind of thinking that your person um, may be the type that is very lazy and maybe you did all the work in the relationship. I don't know. Somebody's settling here, I think. <laughs> I think this person is settling for somebody that they don't care about and you are settling for less than you deserve, okay? There's that. Either way it goes, it looks like you release this person. Kind of looks like you release this person um, and now you're finding your joy and happiness. And somebody here is like, oh my God, they want to come in and see if they can get back in your life. But what I heard was they want to come in and destroy that. Oh my God. Ew. Okay, so you might want to be careful of this person. All right, yeah, taking a chance. Somebody's coming in here. You're changing your perception uh, perception here, too. You may have took a chance and just said, you know what, let me see what life is like without this person. All right, you may have moved away from this person as well. Uh, the way that you view your life, your relationships and things like this has changed since you've been with this person. All right, look at this. So, yeah, you're taking a chance on you as you should. Yeah, bringing balance into your life. This person may be watching tarot or doing tarot to see what's going on with you as well. And look what's sticking out, obsession. All right, so you got somebody that's on your heels, sweetheart, trying to figure out everything that you're doing. Give me three, please, for this situation. You have toil and labor, pathway. You're working your way up out of this situation to a firm foundation. You're growing here. There's a lot of growth and potential happening here in your life here okay i like this and if somebody is worried about this they're stuck look at this they're watching you grow watching you work watching you elevate watching you get further and further away okay and this person is sick jealous all right stuck can't can't let you go give me messages for gemini 
Yeah, see, I, I'm telling you, look, you're doing the work on yourself here, sweetheart. This person is watching you come into balance, watching you come into your own look, watching you elevate. Beautiful, gorgeous, honey, handsome. I'm telling you, this person is kicking themselves in the butt every time they see you, every time you post a picture, every time they hear about you or whatever. Somebody get a little excited. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? This person is, is oh my God, I can't say that. Um, they're very excited, okay? They're they're looking at your pictures and things like that. So this person goes between love, lust, and jealousy. Yeah, look, you're you're <laughs> you're removing yourself from all of this BS. You probably are disappointed in yourself for attaching yourself with this entity. All right, because somebody got some behavioral issues here. Okay, I'm just saying. There's that. Either way it goes, there was a lot of conflict in this relationship, and you're definitely healing from this situation, okay? Being patient with yourself, getting your life back in balance, taking a chance on you, walking away, and finding someone else. There is life outside of this person, honey. Yes, there is, okay? You may have felt some type of way about this person, having to leave them behind, but sweetheart, sometimes you got to do what's best for you. Find your own stability, your own happiness, all right? Especially if you're trying to work with somebody and you're the only person that's working in this situation. It's a oh hell no for me, all right? No lazy people, and we're not raising somebody else's grown child, okay? So you pull back your energy, move your life into calmer waters, and seems like life is kind of gravy for you. Looks like you got some new opportunities coming for you, and you're going to step into them, look. New connections coming in here as well. One day at a time, sweetheart. One day at a time. Get back out there when you're ready. Do your thing. All right? Yes, and whatever it is that you're doing is triggering the hell out of this person, okay? This person doesn't know whether to come to you, um, whether to stay away. They can't stay off your social media if you got one. I'm telling you that. They can't stay away from these tarot readings, all right? If, if you know that much, all right? This person is really, really, really watching your come up, and they got the problem with it, baby. I'm telling you, you look good. You look blessed. You look better than you did when you was with this person. I'm going to tell you that. Yep, and they see that, okay? Look at this. This person is trying to manifest you in their life. They can't. You're manifesting self-healing, self-love, self-care. You're manifesting money, new beginnings, a new partner, and also you're focusing on love here, sweetheart, okay? Some of you could have somebody that's coming in to uh, chat with you as well. Um, I think this is a person that is out in the cold. They're coming up as a page. So you could be dealing with somebody that was a bit emotionally immature here. They're coming in with some type of apology and expression of love here. But it kind of looks like, um, Gemini, you may tell this person that, you know what? I'm pretty happy where I am. Thank you for the apology and all that. No hard feelings, but deuces. I'm up out of here. I got blessings to go get, okay? So there's that. Yeah, I think somebody is going to rush in and try to talk to you. Give me messages, please. One more. Yep. You look good. Like I said, and somebody's watching every move that you're making, they are regretting everything that they said and done and what they didn't do. Okay. There's that. Sometimes you learn. Sometimes you learn after you lose something that was precious to you. All right. Let's see. Don't take people for granted because eventually they'll get tired of your ish. All right, there's that. Like I said, hindsight is twenty twenty. okay? This person realized that they were more of a burden than they were a bay. You know what I mean? This person was a headache, all right? You have gone cold silent from this person, okay? And you did what's best for you. I like it. All right, let's see. This person is, person is burdened down by the past. Look at this. The Five of Swords, clarified by the Five of Swords. There was a lot of conflict in this connection. A lot of drama going on in this connection, okay? A lot of arguing, fighting, and now somebody is stuck in their head because they realize that 99.99% .99 of the time, this person was creating chaos in this relationship, okay? So now they're kicking themselves in the butt because you're actually moving on, okay? Waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Until then, you're doing your, living your best life. You ain't going back and forth with this person. All right, pull back your energy, and this person is holding on to you for dear life. Absolutely. They love how you look. They love how you vibe. They love how you love, okay? There's that, because whoever they're getting it from right here, they don't like it. <laughs> okay, there's that. Let's see. 
This person is holding on for dear life. Let's see. Give me two of swords. Yeah. Look at this. You have blocked this person out of your life. Moved on to your ten of pentacles here with the lovers. Look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And now someone here is in regret in hermit mode reflecting on all of this. Their behavior and everything. Maybe you'll know, learn. Do better next time here, sweetheart. Look, you are manifesting healing, your wish fulfillment here. Okay, I love it. Things are coming together for you beautifully, beautifully, okay? You made a good decision here to do what's best for you and speak up for yourself as well. Stand your ground and go after what's for you, okay? Solid foundation. I really like it. You got some money coming too, okay? Absolutely. You moved on from this and moved away into a positive direction. All right, let's see. And they don't like it. They're watching you and there's nothing that they can do about it here, sweetheart. But sit back and just watch you be happy. Watch it unfold. And they're getting ready to watch you be happy in a relationship as well if you're not already in one. Absolutely. Silently in the corner just sitting there looking dumb. Okay. And I know I don't mean to talk mess, but I can see that this person came in with a bunch of BS with all that emotional abuse and all of that. That's an absolute no. This person deserves to be alone. I'm sorry. No one deserves to be hit upon, talked to, crazy, demeaned. You understand what I'm saying? Intimidated. All of that. Leave this person alone right where they belong. Okay? So you get some act right. Go sit in the corner. I'm not serious. I was stringing you along. Yes, now this person realizes that I really like you. My loyalty stands with myself. I have no loyalty for you. Absolutely. And the only reason why this person is coming back right now is not because they, oh, I'm so unloved. I'm so unloved. No, this person is not happy. All right. This is somebody that is very selfish. Trust me, if they were with somebody that they were cool with getting everything, or even if it, they saw that you were doing bad, this person would be perfectly fine. Okay. There is that. So do whatever you need to do for your life and move on. And this person says, I'm completely over you and have moved on. Please don't look for me. They're a damn lie. Because everything that you post, every picture you take, I'll be watching you. Okay. So there's that. This person could be talking about you to mutual friends and things like that. I had a hard time getting that out. <laughs> they may be talking to about you to mutual friends and things like that, complaining. But just to see if those friends have talked to you, if they got any new information. Quit playing. <laughs> Gemini, we know this person sprung on you, right? All right. It says, <laughs> what makes your soul sing? Recapture that vitality now. And this is what you're doing here, sweetheart. And this person's mad because it doesn't involve them. Your person is struggling and needs your compassion and understanding at the sun. Do they? Do they really? You can have understanding and compassion and compassion for a person, but it does not mean that you need to be dealing with them, okay? Especially when somebody is possibly, you know, verbally, mentally, and physically abusing you. Why would you care what that person needs? <laughs> your health and mental health is at stake right now. Run, Forrest, run. Uh, your spiritual path is, path is being illuminated here. Absolutely. You got guardian angels, guides, and things like that watching over you helping protect you from certain things, lifting the veil from certain uh, relationships and things like that, allowing you to really see who and what you're dealing with, okay, so that you can make beneficial changes in your life. And it says, stay in a positive vibration. You will bring more of the same to your life. Absolutely, sweetheart. Don't let this person bring you down, okay? And if they reach out or whatever, don't let that energy, um, you know, kind of recycle through your psyche, okay, where you start feeling this person's energy, okay, let them go ahead and live their life, and you go ahead and live your best life, okay, I'm living my best life, <laughs> all right, sweetheart, thank you for rocking with your girl, and if you will, rock that like button for me, okay, y'all have an amazing day, bye.